it's actually kind of hard to find some high level lifters, but I totally agree because you look at the most high level lifters right now, very short careers. Because they train, 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 train all the time and they're beat to death. It's only a few guys who are smart enough. For instance, Donnie talks about that, about taking care of those injuries and those old things. You've uh -huh. got to take care of those things. And I had a similar, right, I had my best squats ever on a 10 day tournament on that whole thing. You know, yeah. you, you just need the recovery. Yeah. Do you do anything else for recovery? Do you uh, want to, I mean, recovery for me, you know, I love doing, I mean, I'm a QC pipe. I'm on that sucker, like you wouldn't believe it's no fun. But guess what? You can either be in pain or you can do something about it. So you stay on there, you know, and you do it for as long as you need to do it. And if you have to get back on, you get back on, you know. I mean, anti-inflammatories, contrast showers as much as you can, uh, you know, ice. My joints, it's the greatest thing about, I think, my system is my joints don't take the beating that they would. Before, when I trained constantly, when I trained four or five, you know, times a week, my joints would just kill me. My elbows would be hurt. My shoulders would hurt. I'd have to ice them. I'd you know, ice bags. You go to the store, get a 10 pound bag of ice, and just blast your, your elbow in there. No, it's gone. None of that stuff is there anymore. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't exist. So I don't have to deal with those kind of, you know, injuries. And uh, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, it's it's really, I, it's, you can do all the, you know, recovery you want. But you know, I think the idea really is to, to make sure that you don't have to deal with a major recovery. Right. Well, and, and for me, this is something people don't talk about. I think there's an efficiency thing to begin with with this, and this I think is huge for people to know. Mm -hmm. And I think you're on the same thing, reason I am with that. Now I train a little different today because I got my goals are different, but on a heavy lifting basis for a turnaround, I really don't lift real heavy more than about that same pace. Mm -hmm. You know, um, here's why: I don't believe you can prove that if I lifted more often or you lifted more often, mm -hmm. that you would get stronger faster. Yeah. So. You know, I, I love lifting heavy stuff as yes. much as the next guy, yeah. but I want to have that long career, and well, I love it, but at the same time, why would you put 10 pound, 10 tons of extra effort for no more payoff? Yeah. And that's a big, you know, for me, that's a huge thing, man. I mean, yeah. and plus, I mean, I'm you not, got a real life. I got yeah. a life, you got a life, you got things yeah. to do. I mean, you know, I am going to go to the gym and train my ass off. I do not care. Like, I mean, my rep every day is... <laughs> They'll laugh because you know people that have seen me do rep effort. You know, I mean, they're insane. There's just, that's supposed to be my easiest day of my training cycle. You know, of 24 days training cycle, that's my easiest day, mm -hmm. and it's brutal. It's mm -hmm. absurd. You know, yeah, it's absurdly <laughs> hard. Reps are not any easier than. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. But I mean, I push myself. You know, even on the, my you know my last day, my my weakest day, the day where I'm beat up the most. So I mean, I want to be able to do that. I never want to come to the gym, oh, let's give 55%. No, I'm in there to train my ass. It's like saying you want to go play a football game at 70%. No, you want to go play the game and you know do the best of your ability the whole way through. I mean, I've been an athlete my whole life. I've played football, I've done track, uh, I've done you know all this different stuff. And it's to think to myself that I can't go in and train my butt off or train hard. I mean, you know. The hardest part of, uh, of meets are, are waiting to, you know, to, to compete, around sitting around and competing. Yeah. You know, so you finish yeah. your training and you got to wait. I mean, you know, so I, I really uh, I love training hard. I think that's what most people that are watching this, they love to train hard. Yeah. And this you is going to get more results. Yeah, yeah, results yeah, more yeah. results and be injury free. Yeah. Okay, you get to train hard every single time you hit the gym. You get to be injury free, okay, and let old injuries heal. And on top of that, you get results. Yeah. You get freakishly strong. Right. Okay, I mean, sign me up. I'll try for a training. So you know, I mean, and that's and that's what I do, and that's it works phenomenally well. Talk, and speaking of the freakish thing, you know, when I open this whole thing about talking about the comic book thing. Yeah. Tell everybody about the car squat thing because I've okay, yeah, seen squat. the video, but well, I've done this same stupid stuff too, where you know, eh, this looks superheroish. Let's try. It. So well, I mean, tell everybody about the car squat. I, I mean, I'm. You know, sometimes you got to roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, so I'm in a mechanic shop and I see a station wagon. And I'm like, I can squat that. I can squat with the car, sure, why not? And uh, I, so I, I'm you know, talking to mechanics and everything. And uh, I said, can you lower that down? I want to squat it. And uh, they say, what? I'm like, yeah, just lower it down. So I go over there and I lower it down and I lifted it pretty easily. And then I said, okay, let's do it again. And I put my video camera up. I, I, I squatted it again and took a video of it. And to me, that's what lifting's about. That's why I lift. I mean, 
I don't lift. I mean, you know, yeah, we compete, all this other stuff. Everybody wants to put you into a box. You're Highland Games. You're a straw man. You're a power team. You're a bodybuilder. No, I want super deep strength. That's all I care about, period. That's why I lift a four-pound dumbbell, because I want to be able to rip a car door off. That's what I want, okay? I don't really care if anyone likes it or dislikes it. It doesn't matter to me. I know, you know, I mean, you know, that uh, I want that kind of strength. And that's why I do what I do. And that, you know, I mean, that was just, it's a fun thing to do. Uh, that means more to me, being able to lift a car in that fashion, you know, with no pair of shorts and shirt on. No, no belt, no wraps, sneakers, none of that extra stuff. Let's right. just go and see if you're strong. Right. If you think you're strong, go into you know, a, a mechanic shop and see if they'll let you squat a car. One of their cars. <laughs> and if you can do that, then you're pretty strong. You're not responsible for that, by the way. <laughs> so, I mean, but that's what, like, that's like, you know, that's my challenge. That, and, and when I saw that, that was a challenge to me. Yeah. It was like, I've got to go and see if I can do that. And if I can do that, that's that's a huge, I mean, that means more to winning a contest, winning the worlds, winning any of that stuff. Because that's what you do. You train for that. You do that your entire life to get that kind of strength to be able to do that kind of, you know, that insane stuff. When you, when you read comic books and you Spider-Man lift a car, you want to lift a car. Yeah, yeah. That's what you like, oh man, can you be that strong? Well, and maybe like, you can. Yeah, you yeah, train hard. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. you can, you know. Maybe you can, you know. And that's, that's all you can ask for is a shot. You can ask yeah. for an opportunity, and that is, uh, that's it, man. That's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I like I talk like talk about this in our motivational stuff and in our strength training stuff. Challenge yourself. Yeah. Find something that excites you. Yes. Find something out of the box. Yes. Something you don't think humans can do. Yeah. Something that's who cares what direction. Is. Just try it. Yeah. You know what? Shoot for the stars. You hit the moon. You still hit the freaking moon. Yes. Yeah. So, so let's talk about um, lift the moon. Yeah, lift the moon. Yeah. Uh, a question I wanted to ask, and this is a little more training specific, is you said all right, your your back and leg day is kind of interchangeable. That's and you're back and back yeah. is, do you always work upper back on that day as well? Like, no, when you do the no. rows, do you do oh. rows on another day, or do you uh, rows on another day? What is that? When you do like the all right, so the, obviously the, the one arm row is one of your big huge yes. upper back, yeah. you know, building. You do that on the same day you do legs and low back, or does that go on another day? No, 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 no. Or, like, so when you say legs and back, you mean a specific, lots of dead weight. A specific, a specific, well, no, 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 it, it, it all depends on what day, what you want to do. Right, if you're going to do a squat, if I'm squatting on Thursday of my, of my first week, Monday, squatting on the Monday of my first week, uh, that's great. You do whatever squat it is, whether it be a reverse man squat, or a city bar bar squat, a chain squat, a, a straight weight squat, a box squat, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be. But And that's going to be as heavy as I can go. Then the next day, it's either going to be it's going to be either like a variation of a deadlift, or if I want to row heavy, it'll be a variation of a heavy row. Now I've rowed, I've done over 600 pounds one-handed on the hammer strings. Oh, the hammer strings. Yeah, that's 600 pounds. Yeah, with one arm. So like, I'm just going to rip it apart. You know, I mean, I don't. I'll. It, that's if I want to row because for bench press, for any kind of pressing, your back is really important. You want to have a really strong. You want to have lats. And that's a big deal. So, and uh, I mean, that that could be, I could put that on my last day as well, and do a deadlift, a squat deadlift, and then the rows there. Whichever you want to mix it up that way. For for legs, it doesn't work that way. You only have squat. You have squat. You know, you know those sort of things. So you don't have to really. I don't have any you know variation. I have, I have no pulling for that. So but when it comes to heavy, heavy you know rows, and that is also probably always going to be on the, the tail end, where because after I finish doing a heavy dumbbell, I'll just do a bunch of rows of other stuff. Okay. I'll go do all the pull downs. I'll do all kinds of rows. Mississippi shrugs. What do you call it? Mississippi shrug. Okay, Mississippi shrug is what it is. Is where you do a shrug and you'll do a five or a ten Mississippi count. Okay. okay. At the top of it, and that's okay. one repetition. Okay. So you can do that with anything. I like doing it with face pulls as well. Mm-hmm. Mississippi face pulls because that's what you're doing on the bench. Mm-hmm. That's what you're doing when you're squatting. You're contracting your upper back. Right. So when you're doing, you know, uh, a Mississippi face pull, you've got to contract your back for ten Mississippi for one rep. All right. So when you do that with any kind of weight, that's going to crush. But it's the same thing as a max effort. So why are you training accessory any differently than you train, you know, for what you, you know, for what you want? No, I totally so, agree. Yeah, with that. so that's I, mean, I think yeah. there is certainly the time when you can do, yeah. you know, you met, certain exercises lend themselves to say more repetition, yes. say max. So that's a different type of effort. But if you're going to train an exercise, why aren't you training as hard as anything? Yeah, I mean, my, any other back, exercise? Yeah. It's for stabilization, and I mean, it's I want, I want it to be a rock for the bench. I want to do a rock, you're going to have to squat off of. The, the, the stronger I make it, the more you know I can make it you know, rock solid. 